All right, so what's up, YouTube? It's the Night Sign here, back with another video, and this video is going to be about, I guess, love of the feminine expression, love of the feminine energy, and or just the women. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think I had to really think about this in my lifetime. Not, I'm not about to act like I'm like no Mac or nothing, or like you know, like now dudes be like, oh, all the women. I never was like that, but I always had supportive like women that always been around me. And to a certain extent, I feel like I've always been more feminine in that sense. And not in the sense of like, you know, I know some people associate being feminine with being gay, but I'm talking about in the sense of like receptiveness, uh, being very yin like, being very introverted. And I had to realize like, I had like a lot of like feminine support in my life, starting like with my mother. Like, I love and appreciate my mother, her birthday. But what y'all gonna see this video is gonna be past her birthday, but. She's always been there for me. She always did more than what she always had to do. What she, you know, what she never had to do for real. But she always did more. And I've always been, like, appreciative towards that. And I really hope that one day that, you know, she can see me as a full, grown, developed man. And the way that I live my life, man, you know. And even, like, me with kids. Like, I want her to meet her grandkids. Like, that's something I genuinely think about. And I have, you know, fantasies and and desires to you know make come into fruition and that's just one woman i would i i i, I try to do my I really one woman i really do my best for and really want to live my life for and my mom is like one of the most sweetest sweetest person like that ever known of course she has her problems but my mom is very a, a pure individual from how she acts but you know we all broken and we all damaged so I always, you know, come to have great understanding of that. But she's a very pure individual. And that did more for me than, like I said, I can ever repay. And I think about her every time I hear, like, Dear Mama. Of course, it's Dear Mama's a mama song, but it's just a good-ass song. But it's just like, I just, I, my love for my mother is it's unexplainable. It's un, it's un, you can't. There's no equal. <laughs> I'm fucking up. There's nothing equal to it. <laughs> That's like just one person. And then I realized that even like working jobs, like maybe like older women there, it's almost like it's almost like maybe in spirit, it's like a council of women that's around me because it's always it seems like it's a reflection of that. That's always been around me at literally at most jobs that I go to. Like I get a lot of support from like the the women, and not in like no no weird ways. It's like a like they treat me like I'm their brother. They treat me like like I'm their son, and they care for me. They they try to they they really try to speak life into me, and I always really appreciate that because it's almost like they looking out for me, and not saying no way ever ever looked out for me, but it's always. I always appreciate it because I always appreciate the genuine people. And more times often now I'm always catching jobs that I work at. I'm 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 coming across a lot of women that let's say I work with that are very genuine, they're very helpful, they're very kind and they're very just authentic. They'll just keep it real with me. And that's like a character trait that I always had. I guess attracted towards me it was like people that are always trying to be authentic just because I think as an individual I try to be authentic as I can I'm a goofball I play too much uh I don't try to I I mean of course I, I do my best I'm a hard worker and I guess that's what always caused people towards me I'm always I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pure as a child like I'm, I'm I, I joke around I just like to have fun so I guess that's something that always pulls somebody towards me and I have a sense of uh, innocence about me, even though I'm, I'm getting older and older. I think it's like an aspect of just uh, an inner child that I always keep around me. I think it's just the energy about me. That's how I am. And I guess that always pulls in. I'm not going to lie. I do kind of pull in some women that be around me. And it's not like a romantic thing. It's just like a, a sense of, you know, it could be platonic. I know like with my relationship with my girls, like this kind of, I think she probably do deems me or see me as like a pure individual but or like a pure like a, like a child and this is like how i think and you know how innocent and pure i act sometimes but i always notice that like women they like my job they always come they they befriend me through that 
they always they they want the best for me they always are there for me in a time of need even though i don't like asking for help it's like they almost sense it on me same thing with my mother and i mean that's more to attribute to just the feminine energy of you know or the nurturing and the caring and i've always been you know appreciative towards it because like i said most in my own mind i think i don't deserve much of anything but people always and maybe that's just my karma, right? I think I oh, I give a lot away to people. Like I said, I, I'm very giving up an individual, so I don't really expect anything back. So when people try to go the extra mile for me, which is my mother, which is the women in my life, where I work at, even like my own relationship, it, it catches me off guard. Like it catches me like, I'll be like blushing and shit. Not like on the weird shit, but I'll just be like, all this for me, you know? Like I'll be like, please. Like I'll be, I'll be damn near trying to turn them down because I don't want them. I don't want the help. I think it's not like a, and this could be a pride thing, an ego thing, but it's like a, a level of thinking that I've grown to really take on. Like where I just, you know, I just don't want people help. And that's bad because they always just there for me. And they always, they always, like I said, I always got to turn, you know, <laughs> I got to turn this off. And I'm like, all right, well, all right, come on. Like, you know, that's how it is. Like, even with like the men in my life, I about to say the, 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 the elders, the older, like men that I had that's always that's been there for me and that, and that be there for me at work and even like my brothers and shit like that they always have and maybe that's really what like relationships are about like I, said, I think I struggled or my relationship with people growing up always was hindered just because the way that we grew up but as I got older and I started to become more conscious and you know I'm I'm wanted to build a relationship with my siblings just because of the the weirdness it was growing up i've grown to appreciate you know the relationships of the past that i always had and the lessons that it brought with me but yeah like like it's just unbelievable how like i just be thinking sometimes like damn it's like i really i really am supported like I really am supported. It was a certain point in time in my life where I was never supported. Or I felt like I was never supported. But the more that I live and the more that I realize and the more that I come into awareness about, you know, where the universe puts you and who it puts around you, you realize that you really are all the things that you always wanted. You already have it. And more, to, more likely than not, more than likely or not, you must or you need to have a perspective change. Because let's say if you have a negative perspective, it's 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 warping it's warping your perspective and it's making you think that it's, you know, that you're lacking something. When in actuality you aren't lacking anything. Everything that you ever had, everything that you ever wanted, everything that you desire is already in your presence. And when I speak about that, I mean the intangibles we ain't speaking about like the tangible things like oh money car clothes even though that is already at your hands it's just more about tapping into it now i'm speaking about things like love like care nurturing support some things where you know we believe that oh we not love because somebody may not do this this and that for me but they're doing x y and z for you and that's just bring that just brings in the awareness of you know Maybe that love is actually here and it's not, you know. Man, my bad, my bad. It's bringing in, it brings in the awareness that, you know, love is here while you, you know, may think it's not. So, yeah. Uh, and then I guess like the final part would just be like my romantic relationships that I always had in my life. Like, I can say I've honestly been lucky with the women I dealt with in my life because some of them, if I'm being honest, they was more caring to me and nurturing and, and very pure heart and always kind to me. Of course, relationships gonna always had a problem but I had to realize like, I was honestly given like a good ass dice roll of like romantic partners that I ever dealt with. And of course, it's not gonna always be good but it's just like, I'm just like this is me like reevaluating like the 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 female embodiment that's been you know blessed like I've been blessed with like in every stage of my life even my younger sisters and my older sisters like in times when they were around it was always something that I needed to push me in a certain direction 
and they always been there for me and they was always supportive so yeah if y'all like the video like i said i was just really just yapping for real but like i said some shit just some shit was you know some shit might stick some shit may not but i mean shit i just made the video so <laughs> if y'all like the video like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later thank you